Hello. I'm going to read you a book today about a wombat. A wombat is a type of marsupial that lives in Australia. Do you remember what our marsupials have that ma other mammals don't have? Because mammals have hair and a backbone and they drank milk when they were babies. So you are a mammal, but you're not a marsupial because marsupials have a pouch. Kangaroos, koalas, wombats. This is called Wombat Goes Walkabout. That's a word they use in Australia. It means you take a hike. Michael Morpurgo wrote the words and Christian Birmingham wrote or drew the pictures. So Michael Morpurgo would be the do you remember what it's called? The person who writes the words? The author. And Christian Birmingham making the pictures, we call him the artist or illustrator. One day, Wombat woke up and thought, I think I'll dig a hole today. Wombat loved digging holes, so off he went and dug a deep, deep hole. He crawled inside and sat there in the cool and in the dark and began to think because Wombat loved thinking. He thought to himself, why is the sky blue? Why am I a Wombat and not a kangaroo? So he dug a deep, deep hole. We call that burrow burrowing. And Wombos, oh sorry, Wombat's burrow. Look at his sharp claws too on his toes and on his fingers. Very good for digging. Sometime later, Wombat climbed out of his hole. He looked around for his mother, but she wasn't there. He was all alone. Who are you? cried Kookaburra from high in the sky. I'm Wombat, said Wombat. And what can you do, Wombat? Not much. I dig a lot. And I think a lot. That's nothing, cackled Kookaburra. I can fly. Look at me. And he looped the loop and flew away. Wombat went down to the creek to look for his mother, but she wasn't there either. Just then, Wallaby came hopping by. Who are you? he asked, looking down his nose at Wombat. I'm Wombat said Wombat. And what can you do, Wombat? Not much. I dig a lot and I, do you remember? Think a lot. That's nothing, laughed Wallaby. I can hop. I can skip. I can jump. Look at me. And he hopped and skipped and jumped away. So this is a Wallaby. What other animal looks like that? Did you say koala? Wallabies are smaller than koalas. I'm sorry, I just said koala. <laughs> I meant kangaroo, I hope you said kangaroo because that would be the right answer. So wallabies are smaller than kangaroos. Wombat walked and walked and everywhere he walked he looked for his mother but he couldn't see her anywhere. He sat down under a stringy bark gum um, under a stringy bark gum, uh, sorry, he sat down under a stringy bark gum tree to get his breath back. Just then, Possum popped up beside him. Who are you? she asked, darting her eyes this way and that. I'm Wombat, said Wombat. And what can you do? You know what he's going to say, right? Not much. I dig a lot and I think a lot. That's nothing, laughed Possum. I can hang upside down. I can swing by my tail. Look at me. And she swung away up the stringy bark gum tree. Now we have possums in America. And our possums also hang by their tails in the tree. And they also are marsupials. That's the only North American marsupial, I think. But our possums aren't Quite as cute as the Australian one. They're very useful though. They eat lots of ticks. 
Ooh, do you remember this bird? The emu. Wombat wandered sadly through the bush, still looking for his mother. Just then, Emu came scampering by. Who are you? he snapped. I'm Wombat, said Wombat. And what can you do? Not much. I dig a lot, and I think a lot. That's nothing, laughed Emu. I can scamper. I can scoot. Around in crazy circles. Look at me. And away he scampered, scooting around in crazy circles. Does the Emu fly? They do not. They are like an ostrich. They have a big body and little tiny wings. Not big enough to fly with. Just then, a boy came by, hunting after Emu. Who are you? he asked. I'm Wombat, said Wombat. And what can you do? Not much. I dig a lot, and I think a lot. That's nothing, laughed the boy. I can do just about everything. I can jump, I can run, I can swing, I can even hunt. Look at me, and off he went, hunting after emu. This is an Aboriginal boy. He was one of the first people to live in Australia before settlers came over from England. It was baking hot now, and Wombat shuffled into the shade of a great eucalyptus tree. He hoped his mother might be there, but she wasn't. Who are you? called Koala from way up in the tree above him. So here's Wombat down here, and look way up there. There's Koala. I'm Wombat, said Wombat, and what can you do? Not much. I dig a lot, and I think a lot. That's nothing, laughed Koala. I can doze, I can snooze, I can snore, look at me. And very soon she was dozing and snoozing and snoring away high up in the eucalyptus tree. By now Wombat was very, very tired. So he lay down in the shade and sang himself to sleep. Do you ever sing yourself to sleep? What song do you sing to fall asleep? He's still looking. Did he find his mother? Do you see her on this page at all? When Wombat woke up, he looked around for his mother, but she still wasn't there. I know, he thought. I'll climb the highest hill I can find. Surely I'll be able to see her then. So that's what he did. He climbed and climbed and climbed. When he reached the top, he looked about him. Everywhere he looked, there were lots of cackling kookaburras, hopping wallabies, singing possums, sorry, swinging possums, hunting boys, scampering emus, and dozing koalas. But no matter how hard he looked, he just couldn't see his mother anywhere. Oh, my finger was over the kookaburras. Kookaburras. Koalas, emus, wallabies. Where's the hunting boy? Hmm. Oh, I see him. Do you see the hunting boy? He's right there. He's sneaking up on the emu. But he did see something else. What does he see? He saw smoke. He saw fire. It was leaping from tree to tree. It was coming straight towards him. Wombat thought hard, very hard. Suddenly he knew what to do. He ran down the hill as fast as he could and he began to dig. He dug and he dug and he dug. Why do you think he's digging a hole? Then Kookaburra came by, and Wallaby, and Possum, and Emu, and Boy, and Koala. Fire! They all cried. Run, 
run, run, you silly wombat, fire, fire. But wombat just went on digging. Why is he digging a hole? Look at this picture. This makes me so happy. Oops, I'm trying to turn it so you can see it without a glare. It's not possible. But do you see what happened there? Before I read the words, can you tell by the picture? You see a kangaroo, koala, possum, ooh, mama and baby koala, the emu, the wombat, the boy and the kookaburra. Where are they? Down in the hole that the wombat dug. Isn't that cool? What are you doing, they asked. I'm digging, replied Wombat, and I'm thinking too. What are you thinking, they cried. I'm thinking that fire burns faster than you can run or fly or hop or swing, and I'm thinking that there's plenty of room down in my hole if you want to join me. We'll be quite safe. They took just one look at the cackling, crackling fire and all the billowing smoke. One look was all they needed. Down into Wombat's hole they jumped until they were all sitting safe, sitting there safe and snug. And to keep them all happy, Wombat sang them the digging song that his mother had taught him. Aww. Wombat, Mama Koala, Baby Koala. Did you know a baby koala is called a joey? And a baby kangaroo is called a joey? There's the wallaby, the emu, the boy, and the kookaburra. When at last it was all over, the fire and the song, they climbed out into the evening air. I wish, sighed Wombat, looking around him sadly. I just wish I could find my mother. I've lost her, and she's lost me. Well, why didn't you ask, they all said. We'll find her for you. And away they went, flying and swinging, hopping and scampering, running around in all directions. With so many of them looking, it wasn't long before they found Wombat's mother and brought her back to him. Wombat and his mother just hugged and hugged and hugged. I've been looking everywhere for you, she cried. I was worried sick. What have you been up to? Well, he has a long story to tell her, doesn't he? There's the moon and some, I forget what those are called. Oh, a frilled lizard and a magpie. Oh, finally hugging his mommy. Can we get it without a glare? No, there we go, almost. Not much, Mom, Wombat said. I've just been thinking a lot and digging a lot. That's all. You knew he was going to say that, didn't you? Because you paid attention and he said it through the whole book. Wasn't that cute? Wombat goes walkabout. Did you know that this is real? I mean, the story is pretend. But the thing that's real in here is that wombats really do dig burrows. And when there are fires, other animals, <clears throat> excuse me, other animals get to hide down in the burrow. And wombats really protected a lot of other animals during the fires in Australia, December, January, February. I've got a painting on my wall I'm gonna turn. From one of my trips to Australia, I met a wonderful artist. She did oil paintings and watercolors. And I loved this one. It's one of the Australian wildfires. Notice how it burns everything down and all those koalas up in the trees. They have nowhere to go unless they find a wombat burrow. Pretty cool. Well, friends, I'll read you another book another time. I hope you enjoyed the book. I hope you learned something new and I hope you have a great day. We miss you.